morning, Mr. President. On behalf of Miriam College High School, third year, sections 8 to 13, we would like to thank you for this opportunity. Um, first of all, we would like to ask you a question from section 8. <laughs> Good morning, but I'm Ridge and Kernishan from Section 8. Oh, my question is, as the President of the Philippines, what are your day-to-day -day activities? <laughs> <laughs> well, the first thing is to get um, informed of what's happening. So for me, that means I don't, lis I don't listen to the radio, I don't watch TV. I look at the newspaper so I can digest the news in the sequence that I want and perhaps try to get it as unembellished as possible. When you listen to the radio, Somebody starts out with an agenda right away and colors the reporting of the news. No? So your view is, is colored right away by whatever the column is, uh, the commentator has. Um, then it's basically like you know, a lot of study every day. Um, you have numerous meetings stretching from morning to sometimes morning, you know, including Saturdays and Sundays, on things that cannot wait. And, we have uh, about 10 million Filipinos outside the country. So anytime that there's a disturbance anywhere in the world, chances are there's a Filipino involved. No? Currently, we're monitoring the issues in South Sudan. Uh, it's a new country carved out of Sudan. There's an ongoing, um, well, they're hoping to stop a civil war from happening. And we have peacekeepers there and a few OFWs. So um, basically, it's uh, um, studying a lot of meetings. Uh, Decisions that have to be made every day and monitoring everything that's, uh, or trying to monitor everything that's happening, uh, be it Yolanda, be it the weather, and uh, so many other things. Okay. Thank you, Pa. Thank you. Um, so, sa Yolanda po, marami pong nabiktima. And alam po natin na billion billion na yung mga nakalap natin na donation. So, Paano po natin, paano po namin may ensure na yung kada sentimo ng mga dinonate sa amin eh nabibigay talaga sa kanila? Yung bilyon-bilyon na kalap, hindi lahat napunta sa gobyerno. Marami napunta sa, ngayon, sa Red Cross and other um, international aid organizations and also the UN. Okay, so we have, what we have as direct control will be the funds coming from government and those donated to government. Okay. Having said that, yung sa international aid, there is a web site called Faith. Um, Rene, Rene, can you give the address talaga of, of Faith? And basically what it says is, what did we, it parent lists down what did we receive and where did it actually go to? The, the idea being, we want to be as transparent as possible. No? Uh, second, yung, yung, there are various controls, so you have internal auditors of the COA and the various government entities. But at the end of the day, to be actually the people, you know, yung, what we pride ourselves in is we don't, Talk the talk, no, we walk the walk. So when we say that um, uh, what is the problem, shelter, then we demonstrate. No? We have uh, the temporary shelters being put up, we have clearing of the sites. We, we, we try to engage the whole citizenry in the, in the whole process. No? Uh, we don't do anything in secret. And um, I guess uh, at the end of the day, I rely on all my cabinet secretaries who are in charge of actually doing. Um, everything that has to be done from relief work to rehabilitation to bringing back the communities in a better state to monitor all of their respective agencies and personnel to ensure that every last centavo is, is uh, devoted no, to really improving the lot of our people affected by Irlanda and then various other calamities that befell, befell us last year. Good morning, Mr. President. Um, I would like to know how how you address or attend to the needs of the indigenous people? Well, the so indigenous people, amongst the programs the uh, uh, government is undertaking is, uh, so that I think it's the formal name is alternative learning systems. No? You have nomadic communities, and DEPED has assigned teachers to them to continue their studies, even if they are not in a fixed location. Everybody um, will, will go to a particular school because they reside in a particular community. That doesn't address the people who, are, who by lifestyle, no, para transfer the residences. So we have gone even as far as uh, you know, putting teachers to situate themselves in these nomadic communities to be able to continue the learning. 
yung NCIP sa the National Commission on Indigenous Peoples is a very active uh, agency of government. In the papers today, they were they were in a bit of a controversy about granting a certificate of ancestral land title to um, I forgot the particular indigenous people, but it, it's uh, it. Um, but the issue was they took over uh, the oldest hotel in Baku because it's supposed to be situated in ancestral lands. No? Um, and basically, um, even in the, the Bank Samoro Framework uh, Peace Agreement, um, Bank Samoro is defined not just as Muslims, but a lot, you know, also the indigenous people residing in what is now the arm and those that may opt to join what will be the new arm. Now, after uh, the basic organic law will have been drafted by Congress and approved by Congress. So um, at the end of the day, you, we, we in government believe that we're here to serve the people, and the people is defined as all people, whether they're here or they're also abroad. By the way, Mr. President, you're seated with the class presidents of the classes from Miriam. Hopefully, in the future, some of them will be holding office in this building. So uh, we, we are totally open to that. I'm sorry, I have to make it a bit more relaxed, no? Because parang shadow time tense. Okay. Uh, by the way, may I introduce myself? My name is Rene Almendras. I'm the most handsome Tito of Abi Nagyat. Okay, di ba Abi? Okay. So anyway, um, may I call on the other, the next class president who would like to ask? Um, uh, the question is Dominique Ramos. Um, as the population rises to 100 million, how do we ensure that jobs are provided for the poor and that the children are educated? You know, that's a very nice question. Parang every year, there's at least a million people added to the labor pool. And for whatever reason, the definition of being part of the labor pool is once you reach age 15. Okay. Now, yung our economy is growing. We, we think we'll wind up with at least 7% GDP growth uh, last year. We expect to continue the momentum this year. Okay. What that does is enables us to be able to provide opportunities for everybody. And we want the growth inclusive. So what does that mean? No? Yung, whereas before, for instance, we school classrooms. When we got into office, we inherited a lack of 66,800 classrooms. Okay, the national budget can only support about 8,000 classrooms every year. So I have a six-year term. So 8,000 8, by six, we gives you four. 48,000 classrooms. So by the time I left the office, makakautang pa ako ng about 20,000. <laughs> no? And um, uh, last year, no? because we're in 2014, 2013, we were supposed to have finished already the 66,800 classrooms. And we did that by the support of the budget, by engaging the private sector, especially in the PPP mode. Uh, so much so that um, if Yolanda did not strike, no, this year we would have already been starting construction of the additional classrooms needed because of K-12. to okay, So a lot of the intervention is really yung, how do we provide the opportunities? Basically, we believe education is the key. You can uh, give the, everybody a chance to learn, get the necessary skills that are employable. Now, it's not, ano, it's not random. Now, we try to engage business um, to tell us what would they need by the time these students graduate. So we want to encourage uh, everybody to go into particular careers and fields that will have uh, the greatest chance of employment. Um, agriculture is also ma a major investment area from the irrigation system, transfer of technologies, yung, uh, pati na yung agribusiness skills are also attended to. So um, um, TESDA in particular no, uh, has already produced over half a million graduates. And uh, whereas before, it was um, parang 20 to 26 percent lang na higher of their graduates. Last year, Tesla was reporting 62 percent already, in av on average, uh, 70 plus 70. for, I don't remember, but 85 was ano eh, semiconductors. 77 no? yung sa, sa uh, 77 for, 77 mo? Well, was uh, over 70% for the business processing, outsourcing uh, endeavors, no? uh, and then 85% for semiconductor related. Um, so again, you schools everywhere, when we encourage businesses to come in, it's economics because they, they talk about comparative advantage. No? But each entity, each country will have areas where they're more efficient in producing whatever. And 
parang the basis of trade goes into you. Why will you go to somebody who's less efficient and more expensive? Go to the one that's uh, cheaper with the right quality, etc. So we are um, parang all uh, all the areas where we have comparative advantages and we are trying to exploit and basically get everybody um, parang fully employed. But of course, that is still a dream. Now, yung the dream, bakit dream? No? So I'm about 100 million. Yung 2% population growth translates to, well, kaya naman kung gano'n, 2% of 100 million ang plus every year. No? So it's a joke no? to provide. In, we work on at least a million people entering the labor pool every year. So even if you get, uh, so we're at 750,000 jobs into the economy every year, meron ko pa rin deficit ng 250,000. So that's why we also embarked on a campaign to start productive health. No, and basically what we're saying like is, you're a parent, you bring in children into this world, you have responsibilities. Ensure that you know, you have main responsibilities, clothe them, feed them, educate them. Okay. Now, um, besides the uh, investments in education, you say health, no? uh, we're, we started out about 63% in enrolled in field health. We're now about eight, between 83 to 86%. Ang natitira lang ng informal settler population, medyo mahirap habulin. Um, yung health services are practically free, free to the patient, no? pero cost to the government, about the bottom quintile, yung bottom 20% of the population. Uh, we've, uh, I think, also increased the benefits for field health to include yung, they call it uh, Z, Z disease, diseases. Z refers to cat catastrophic diseases, um, cancer and... Uh, Specific, specific cancer. Sorry, I don't have a, I don't remember all of the cancers that were newly covered, and they keep on expanding. Okay, so um, actually, parang well, the whole gamut of it is really to increase opportunities for everybody to become more inclusive. Yung infrastructure, um, look, at major thrust is improvement of a lot of our airports. Okay, we started out because with about three million tourists every year. We now have five million. No, and we're targeting 10 million foreign tourist arrivals by 2016, by the time I step down. And we believe that each tourist that comes in provides one job for a Filipino. So how do you get them in? Shepard, make it easier for them to get to the Philippines, to get to the tourist areas. We've declared open skies for every part of the Philippines except the Naia area. No? Uh, then you have the upgrades of the airport. And currently in controversy is the Mactan Airport, no, which is a major gateway. And then we have um, ongoing yung, an upgrade of the Pangla, or the construction rather of the Panglao Airport in Bohol, um, Puerto Princesa, Davao, and even para Naia, no? Naia Plus. Let's say it might be Naia Plus Clark or Naia Plus a new airport somewhere in southern Tagalog to augment yung Naia, which they keep saying has already reached capacity. Okay, so. Um, at the end of the day, when I step down by 2016, we want to be able to tell everybody that we fulfilled our promise, that you will have a substantially different country from the time that we stepped in. Okay. Now, yung, I guess uh, I'd like to point out that uh, when tragedies strike us, no, you know, I think the government has been able to demonstrate that we are ready to assist everybody and anybody anywhere in the Philippines, and immediately. No, of course, the magnitude of Yolanda, which affected close to a million families. A family is defined as five eh, per family. So in close to a million, is close to five million people affected. No? Well, actually, it's 1.4 million families affected, but yung, those that will be needing assistance in terms of their livelihood, housing, etc., close to about a million. So it's similar to how how challenging that is, even just to feed everybody every day from the time that uh, Yolanda struck. And of course, we had the earthquake, and we had Sambuanga, and we had Santi. Hopefully this year, we will have a, a pass on every tragedy that will befall. <laughs> and um, so again, uh, sorry, napapatingin ako dun sa Bureau sa likod. It shows us where we've gone through. Now, um, last point na lang. Sa education, we have a program called the Conditional Cash Transfer Program, which is Pantawid Pamilya Pilipino Program. Uh, na, na ko na konti. But basically, 
may incentive to keep your child in school. It's a, an incentive and in in an assistance to families to be able to afford keeping their children in school to make it worthwhile. So that targets elementary uh, students. This year, uh, Congress has approved um, the program will be expanded to the high school. And the, the, um, the logic behind that is there is a, a think tank, a Philippine think tank called the Philippine Institute for Development Studies in a recent study stated that if you graduate from high school, there is an, a clear increase in the income of about 40% versus just graduating from grade school. So with the inclusion of high school students in the program, you know, we hope that they will be able to finish high school and have a marketable skill in, with the help of Shepard uh, Deped and TESDA. So that uh, when they graduate, they get into a job that pays at least 40% more than what they would have normally just earned if they had just stayed in, in uh, grade school. So I'm going to ask you a lot of questions. The young ladies are asking very difficult questions. So we now got, we'll have um, Anne Heron from Section 11. Good morning, sir. Uh, this question is kind of on the lighter side. Uh, who is the most beautiful woman you have ever seen? <laughs> Dangerous question. <laughs> Se seen personally, seen on TV, seen on film, seen on, uh, on, in a picture. Pwede magpasta lang doon sa question na yun. You know, and, and, and why, why I want to pass on? There was a, um, the last time I judged a beauty contest was in the late 80s. You know? And uh, what happened was, syempre, di ba, beauty contest. Eventually, there's a titleist, you know, the winner. And then there are 14 others who almost made it. So the one who won, syempre, smiles. You know? Everybody in her entourage, you know, sobrang tuwa. And everybody who was a runner-up looks at you with menacing eyes and wants to kill you. Yeah. Sabi ko, mahirap yata ito. Merong isang natuwa sa'yo, labing apat ang galit sa'yo. And now I'm very careful when I answer things like that. There might be somebody who's pleased and there are a lot of others who will get angry and I, I want to try to get a consensus on everything. So if you don't mind, can I just pass on that answer? Mukhang there's no good answer for that question. So good morning. I, yes. So um, I'd like to ask, well, as the president of the Philippines, what is your New Year's resolution for 2014? I think one of the one of the things that's most important is I be, um, I pressure my cabinet less. Now, for instance, yung, I took a small break, you know, and um, I wound up eventually in Tarlac. Unfortunately, in Tarlac, um, I have an aunt who's um, not of good health not in good health lately, and her house was right across us, and who happened to have a son who died uh, quite recently, one of my cousins. So while alone, watching TV, saw their house, it's dark, etc. So I looked inside the house, she had pictures of my dad and my mom, I remembered my dad and my mom, and obviously we would not be together for the holidays. No? So eventually, I went back home, uh, I went back here, and uh, I'd like to apologize to the cabinet members who I started working with on January 1. No? Para ba talagang pinalampas ko lang yung New Year's Eve? Parang hapon ng... Yeah, parang noon yata eh. I started uh, calling up Laila de Lima and so many others. No? Na, and of course, they had to respond to me because I'm the head of the executive department. Afterwards, the guilty ako. Sabi ko, ito mga ngayon lang napahinga. Sabi na siguro, ng tetens kaya ito mga ito pagbabalik na ako. Ibang, ilang kaya sila nag-iisip na sana wala akong dyan yung tangan or iniwan ko yung cellphone ko no, para hindi mag-follow up ng corona. So para, perhaps ano, yung the cabinet is very hardworking. They're very dedicated. Um, you can't ask anything more of them. And perhaps uh, I should learn to parang, give them a little bit more breathing room. Baka naman ma-burn out lahat itong mga kasamahan natin sa gobyerno. Who, um, who actually do everything no, out of love of country, uh, they can go into private, in the private sector no, and really make tons and tons of money and have less controversies in their life and have a more peaceful life. But they chose to make a contribution at this point in time. So I really thank them from the bottom of my heart. Perhaps that has to be the most important thing. Yung mga nagmamalasakit sa bansa, tumutulong sa akin, baka naman dapat eh, mas alalaya ko talaga ako kaysa i-pressure ko. Yung, the cabinet secretary in particular, Mr. Um, 
Yung, if you will notice, he has a, a few frown lines. <laughs> so, I think it was in Zimbabwe. No? When I got back, he had three eh, no, before I left. When I came back, it was one. Sabi ko, parang makasensyo na. Then he said, sabi ko, ano ba nagyari? Anong ginawa mo dyan? No? Parang, tagal ko na kaibigan doon sa rin eh. Bibiroan kami. Baka nagpabotox ka na dyan. <laughs> then he says, actually, isa, isang linggo lang kita hindi nakita. Sabi ko, ah, ganun siguro yun. No? Hindi lang ako makita. Medyo relax sila. <laughs> so, I, I guess that is the principle. No? And perhaps, ano, the other thing is, you know, we have a cottage industry already of people who, who make a living out of criticizing me. And it detracts from solving the problems of this country if I have to attend to them. Na mangyari na mangyari. Hindi naman talaga, di ba pala makikita, maganda sa sasabihin mo. Parang, for instance, Secretary Petilla uh, made the promise to energize all the, all the communities affected by Yolanda. Uh, on by Christmas Eve. Now, he missed the target uh, by 14 hours for three towns, if I remember correctly, out of 320. So three out of 320 does not constitute 1%. Okay? So people were calling on him to resign because he didn't make the promise. So I said, parang sa skwelahan niya tayo yan eh. Tanda ako, nag-aaral ako 91A. Pag 99 plus, A pa rin yun. So, imbis na mag-concentrate doon sa 99 plus to ener na, na energize, kino-concentrate nila doon sa point whatever <laughs> diba? na hindi na-energize. Now, yung what did ECOT have to do no? to, to get uh, the energy there? Something in the neighborhood of over 250 transmission towers were down. Pero pa yung poles in all of these affected communities. Uh, getting the necessary material, meaning yung lines, transformers, etc., operational. And what was supposed to have constituted six months was done in about 40 days. Uh, so again, over 99% of the task, again, you know, three out of 320, ang na late by not even 24 hours. And there were people who were calling on him to resign. Uh, so, yung mga yan, bakit, di ba parang next time na magsasalita ulit itong mga ito, bakit ko pa pagtsatsagaan na talaga sobrang unreasonable? Habang inaasikaso sa wala, hindi ko inaasikaso yung problema ng bayan. So that I think has to be another resolution. Ignore the people are hopeless. Okay, thank you. Mr. President, those are the questions from here, but uh, Abby was requesting if okay though, if we can have one question from the floor. And uh, if there is no student who would like to ask a question, uh, the students will allow their teacher daw to ask a question. Baliktat naman ngayon. Pumayag po yung mga estudyante na yung teacher pwede magtanong. <laughs> Is there any, just one question from the floor before we move on? Hi, Mr. President. I'm Marty Bautista from Section 13. And I'd just like to get some advice from you because, yes, all of us are high schoolers. And I'd just like to know what you used to do back in high school. <laughs> like when you were choosing a college or a course, did you already know that you were gonna become president? Like in your head, did you have a mind, like mindset, <laughs> gonna be president? <laughs> and I'd just like to know, like, um, parties, any? <laughs> I, I imagine we're not that different in a lot of things. <laughs> Maybe I'll become president. <laughs> You know, but of course, when we were in high school, we didn't have 13 sections. Probably eight or nine. Nine. Probably nine. So that must mean population increase is really very evident. <laughs> uh, I spent my, all my education in Ateneo, so I went to Shakey's, I went to so many other areas that uh, no longer exist. Shakey's is still there. <laughs> They just got renovated, I think. <laughs> we still go. Then, um, they don't have any... What are you Gold mine, there's no gold mine. There's no campo. Para Shakey's was the singular franchise, yeah. Yeah. We got a McDonald's. <laughs> Not at that time. <laughs> oh, 
Did you have any sorries? <laughs> Pero you have to remember also, Marcelo Ronaldo kami. We had curfew. Oh. Cur Watch out, kids. <laughs> curfew not by our parents, no. Curfew by the state. And when you were caught, you had to do community service the following day. Um, yeah, we had we had a lot of friends from that era. So, dates us, na pero meron all pa nun. Abi mo mo ko kwento sa mga mo pero. Kaya di ba? The cabinet secretary had ano had uh, had groupmates from. Meron all that at the time. Pwede ko pwede ko ikwento yung... 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 Huwag na. May I answer the president was very cool when he was in high school, so... There were... There were many girls across the bridge, if you know what I mean, that had a crush on the president. Okay. But he was very serious. Wala ko siyang pinansin sa mga yun. Kaya mo na nga, bakit hindi clear siya? At yun na yung high school, on the right side, no, right front, if you're looking towards Miriam, hindi ba Copertino? Tapos yung directly across the bridge, yung nuns eh, of Miriam. So I don't know who you're referring to. Deaf mute, deaf mute. Yung Institute of the Deaf, yung pagtawid mo ng bridge, di ba? Kaya quiet yun. Noong araw, yung video games, hindi naman sa bahay, video arcades. Okay? Um... Hindi na pala. Ano ba yung quad? Ano ba yung quad ngayon? Green belt. It used to be called quad. Don't ask me why it was called quad. It had the parking lot. The parking lot had the video arcades. Green Hills also had several. Alimol. Ano ba ba? Tapos, high school, hindi, college din. College, there used to be this place called Miyako Restaurant. Na eat all you can at tempura. Basically, kaya kami nakaintindihan. Yung barkada namin, parang kainan ng tripping, <laughs> going to Chinatown and gorging out. Sila naman sa Laloma. They ordered a kilo of lechon each. Tapos sabi, kasi dumating ka nun, konti naman pala nito, nung pala bawat isang bandihado. Tingi-tingi sa sila nun, ay nung ilang kilos kinain nila. Took them a while to get home, dahil nahilo sila after eating all of that lechon. Tapos, yun. Tapos, ano ba, pinaka big item na nun eh. Betamax kayo. <laughs> Sabi mo, what's a Betamax? At that's a... Ano kang hirap nga paliwanag siya rin. Yung... Yung on-demand yun na through streaming, through flash drives, through USB device, etc. Sabi mo, physical medium na tape. Magnetic tape video. Naging VHS, naging BCD, laser disc, DVD, Blu-ray, etc. You know, para, para the best answer to your question is what everything uh, is unique about yung, your situation now is actually meron versions yan of previous generations and yung mga pag pinaproblema niyo magulang niyo pagdating na kayo ng magulang kayo naman mga problema ng pinaproblema ng magulang niyo so in a sense para may paulit-ulit rin yung situations at problems even the decisions no, that you have to make in life but again um, perhaps the biggest change and something that we really don't want to happen again, see martial law. Yung, if you look at history, kasi, when you have a dictatorship, normally the way to remove the dictatorship is a violent revolution. We were fortunate we had a peaceful one in Edsa. Okay. So think about it. We were in, I was grade uh, six when martial law started. So, and my father was number one on the order of battle, first one arrested. Talagang bumaligtad yung mundo namin. How do you plan for a, and work for a good future when you weren't convinced you had a future? Parabang, if you go into a violent uh, upheaval to remove the dictatorship, those who are at the front of the line will be learning the lessons that others will benefit from. Those at the front of the line normally do not make it through the process. So, pag sinabi, study hard for a good future, yung to reach the next Christmas was a para major achievement. So we don't want that visited on anybody. Uh, that's why we want to make sure that democracy works for everybody. Everybody has a stake in the system. Everybody nurtures it. And we don't go into an experiment like the martial law years, which really, up to now, no, still uh, has some wounds that, have, uh, that are still festering.
Okay, thank you very much. Thank you for your questions. We, we have we have a request for uh, some picture taking, so we'll ask that we'll do it really fast. We're so sorry, the president has another appointment. Ah, uh, uh, are there any more questions? Uh, there's a question over there. You cannot ask my waiter. Uh, by the Constitution of the Philippines, prohibits you from asking how heavy I am, so I am protected by no. Good morning, Mr. President. Um, do you think that you are a good president? Sorry? Do you think that you are a good president? Do I think that I am the president? Yes, <laughs> yes I, I believe so. <laughs> if you think that you are a good president, you have only um, two years left in your term, and the Philippines is still a third world country. What can you do to like, make this country into like, a first world country? Look at that. But I have to use anecdotes, no? Yung wala pa empirical studies that would prove it. There is, a, there is this head of an, parang one of our type ones. And uh, the change in, their, in her particular attitude says, um, they're into various, uh, various endeavors. May malls, may um, condominiums. May, they're into so many, banking, really large conglomerate. And in a, in a recent gathering, I'm told, she said that, that they have so much confidence in the Philippines and in the government that at this point in time, they're land banking. Land banking is just getting all of the land because they want to build up their condominium base. Anything that is above 2,000 square meters, they will already buy. In their, you know, it's desperate, no? But they are very eager to keep on expanding because they believe that uh, our economy will continue to expand. There will be a market for their particular product. Um, can I change this country from third world to first world? Perhaps that's a, that's a wrong premise, though. No? You know, no single individual of our close to, well, 95 million Filipinos at this point in time can transform this country by himself or herself. No? It is the collective effort that will bring us there. I can have all of these classrooms built, no? and if the students there do not bother to study, how do they get the necessary skills to improve their lot in life? Um, we can go after everybody who's corrupt, get them into jail. But when certain quarters of our society are apathetic, how do we stop that culture of uh, being corrupt or even the sense of impunity? Um, look at the dialogue no, that's happening today. Yung when we when we were campaigning, there was really this sense, sense of apathy. The people who convinced me to run amongst some groups and said, we don't expect you to, do, to change everything, but at least let us start the process of changing it. Okay. So you know, tomorrow I may be run over by a car. No? A tree might fall on me. And then, panen, tapos na, in dream natin. That, there has to be somebody to pick up the next stage of our development. I'm sure no, you're already gaining skills that were not even taught to us when we were students, which will, in, will bring propel us to the next higher level. So again, everything that we've, uh, we've tried to accomplish is to say, these things we see wrong in our society, and we are committed not to let it perpetuate itself. Hence, yeah, we've gone after so many vested interests, and we've We've dar tried our hardest diba, to level the playing field. And at the end of the day, they, uh, to provide everybody with the opportunity to improve their lot in life. You know, whether that succeeds at the end of the day, you know, the Americans have a saying, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it drink. We can provide all of these opportunities. And diba, one day, you know, God will call us all. By finish or not finish, pass your paper. Now, if nobody picks up the cudgels you know, and picks up the torch, then it will be for naught. So hopefully this dialogue will help you think about these matters. And if you see the soundness and the correctness of our positions, perhaps you can join us you know, and perpetuate it in the next generation. Uh, yeah. Sir, um, you said earlier that you're starting the change that the Philippines deserve. So what if the next president doesn't really get to continue what you started now? What are you working on right now that like, can benefit the next Term. Well, number one, we're trying to eliminate all the problems that we will be quit the next, the next president. No? For instance, um, something as simple as you know, the weather bureau in Pagasa. No? When we started out, Pagasa guided us incorrectly. No? There was a, I'm not sure if it was Frank or Basha, probably Basha. No? 
they said it was going to traverse uh, eventually to Aurora. And unfortunately, the truck was not Aurora. It was Southern Tagalog, then Metro Manila. So we were pre-positioned with relief, with the rescue services in Aurora, and also, I think, portions of uh, the Cagayan Valley region. Now, when Pag-asa gives you a report, no, kanyari, Yolanda, it tells you when it enters, when, where, how strong, what are the endangered areas. We went even as far as, ano, hindi na storm signal lang. You have a rain guide, no? how much rain is expected um, in duration of the event. No? So the next administration, hopefully, no, will uh, continue to support uh, the OST, Pagasa, Fibox, and the others, no? so that they are given timely advice, so that they are able to make the correct decisions. So yung, why, why do I highlight that? No? The head of the agency, for whatever reason, before, was, has, had been there for such a long time na parang dating niya God. Pag sinabi niya, ito, every subordinate, maski nagdududa, sasabihin, tama po. At yung tama niya made us uh, ill-prepared to meet that emergency. Okay. I was actually in Quezon City at a residence in Times. And uh, sabi ko, lakas naman itong bagyo nito. Nagpuhipito sa Times. May yung hangin, na supposed to be nasa Aurora. Eh, hindi pa, wala pala sa Aurora. Nasa Metro Manila pala. Okay. Now, um, the other, Yung, we're hoping that the people get to see our level of governance and expect that as a minimum. Yung sovereignty resides in the people. No? There is no new administration the people don't say, no? yung, you will be the one no? uh, and expressed by the vote. So, yung dati may apathy, dahil lang tayo magagawa, quiet lang tayo, hindi lang natin matapos yung administration na yan. Ngayon, you have people already marching in the streets demanding no? uh, very good governance. Look at the yung, yung rally for the, against PIDAF, amongst other things. So from apathetic to nakikialam is, I think, uh, a very good sign. And hopefully, nakik after nakikialam, nakikilahok na. Meaning, joining in the solution towards the problems. Okay. Yung, when we try to reform, no, and are still trying to reform the judiciary, amongst other things, uh, we succeeded in impeaching the Supreme Court Chief Justice, no, who admitted that he did not put in his in his sal statement of assets and liabilities is true assets, liabilities, and net worth in violation of the Constitution. So, um, in effect, the keeper of our laws, so parang the final arbiter of our laws, the head of the, the, the state organ that deals with determining questions of law, was not, parang had an attitude that he was above the law. He was made to account for it, and he had been impeached. So, you know, we will not bequeath to the next group the same problems we had to face. Hopefully, no, yung, they will be in a position that is higher than where we started out, enabling them to do even more than what we have accomplished. Okay, now, yung, can I do it by myself? I, I go back. No, we're a democracy. I can't do it by myself. No, yung, you bring in all of the superheroes and individually or collectively, hindi kakayanin. It has to be everybody who has a stake in this country and its future has to put in his or her share in going to that route. Otherwise, di ba, parang image sabi nung araw, parang kawaya nung no? talad ka, ari ka na lang, dadaling ka nung hangin. Pwede ka na mag-chart ng direction mo. Bakit ka magpapakalad ka? Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. One more? Hindi kasi parang we haven't heard from this side. Baka you're interested to get this in. No difficult questions about girls. Thank you. Uh, good morning po. Uh, ano po ang paborito niyong subject nung nasa high school pa kayo? At bakit po? High school probably history. Para yun, para maintindihan mo kung bakit. Kasi, I would, I would suggest, why don't you read the Bible? then you will find a lot of the problems we are confronting now being confronted in ancient times. Then it tells you na, if you study, paano ba na, paano ba na inaksyonan yung problema ang kinaharap nila nung araw? Baka naman may tama na sila ng ginawa. Hindi na tayo kailangan magkamali ngayon. But if, I guess it, right? it helped us understand not only the past, but also the context of the present. And perhaps it helps us, enables us to look at the future. Uh, parang, um, 
may mga kababayan tayo may bias laban sa hapon, for instance. Bakit may bias? Dahil yung depredations of World War II. Oh, uh, nakakatulong ba sa atin na hindi maka... Yung, na, hindi makipag-ugnayan na maayos sa, sa bansang hapon. So, hindi mo maayos yung problema kung hindi mo naitindihan. Hindi tama yung solusyon kung hindi tama yung pag-aayos, pag-a-understand, yung pag-uunawa mo sa problema ang kinakarap mo. Uh, electronics was another, uh, ano, yung Latin namin was changed to practical arts. So, that meant uh, electronics for us. Problema lang nun, pinagawa kami ng AM na radio. Tapos, para makatipid rin sa battery, ah, pinagawa rin kami ng AC-DC adapter. Okay. Problema nun, para bang yung radio na gawa ko had a total of one channel. <laughs> yung totoo naman pa kasi yung aerial to get the various channels, iisa lang kayo. Pero palagi ko si Rene would say recess. Meriento. <laughs> <laughs> yung high school is, I think, one of the more enjoyable periods. Pagdating mo ng college, medyo palapit ka ng palapit sa career path. Para mo, uh, you'll have a lot more freedom when you get to college, but the sense of responsibility becomes that much, much more. I, know, I guess, um, ito nga tayo, nag-uubis ang kung saan nga kami maabot. Lalo na, no, by the time we got to 18 and we could drive, yun na, lunch in Makati from Ateneo. Uh, wala pa na lang. Lalo, lalo pagdating sa college, kasi pag fr freshman year namin, talagang inabuso kami. Una, may daylight savings time. So, which meant, yung first class namin was actually 6 a.m. No? Tapos, the next class after that was 12 noon. Tapos, after that, ano, parang 3 o'clock. Basta, tapos matatapos kayo ng 7 p.m. O yun yata, start of the last class. Pag freshman ka, kayo yung parang kung sa kayo pwede isiksik na oras. Doon kayo. At meron pa kami professors na part-time can only meet on Saturdays. So pati Saturdays, tinangayari nila. Okay. Thank you, Paul. Yeah, thank you. Last, last question from this side, because we're gonna, there's a request for picture taking, Mr. President. So. Hi. Oh, do you like any sports? Football, maybe? <laughs> Yung, actually, we like a lot of sports, but in sports doesn't seem to love us anymore. We have a lot of uh, aching bones and muscles already. So you used to play during high school? High school, they required kami. It's in drums, no? <laughs> <laughs> Volleyball, basketball, uh, softball, Football. and soccer. <laughs> soccer I didn't like, in the sense that... Really? Uh, <laughs> Wala, wala kasi nagturo na pag-heading, yung forehead ang ginagamit, hindi ito buwa pa sa akin. Tsaka yung, yung football na ginagamit namin that time, leather yata eh. Yeah. Medyo mabigat. So pagkatama, nag-heading ka. No? Afterwards, hilong-hilong ako. Medyo, ano, no? Or uso si Bruce Lee, no? parang icon namin sa martial arts. So yung football, pina-flying kick namin yun. So, yung P, P, the P department, at the high school at that time, had two members of the Philippine national teams of volleyball. So, feel na feel niya yung volleyball. No. So, I guess I, I, still, I still enjoy volleyball. No. Dahil yung sa volleyball, obligadong teamwork. Sa basketball, pwede may superstar. Sa volleyball, maski gano'ng ka ka-superstar, hindi kasi namahan o lima mong kasama. <laughs> Di ba? Di mo kaya mag-isa yung anin. So, softball, softball para may pagkadragging. Now I'm in. A, I'm I still engaged in a practical shooting now. It's called IPSI, or combat shooting. I do it once a week. Gives me a break from everything. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. We're we're gonna have the picture taking now. We'll make the adjustments.